What's going on you guys? In this video, we're gonna talk about how to make sure that the emails that you're sending through WordPress actually get delivered. Oftentimes when you submit a contact form or whatever it may be, either the emails just don't get sent period or two, they get sent directly to spam. And obviously most of the time when it gets sent to spam, that's not a good thing. Our users aren't gonna see those emails. We wanna make sure that it ends up in their inbox. Now, without getting too technical, I wanna quickly talk about how email authentication works. So there are a lot of people out there sending email all across the world. I mean, probably millions of emails are sent every single day. I don't know the exact numbers, but with all of those emails that are going around, there's also a lot of spam and a lot of junk mail that gets sent out too. So people have come up with a couple different things. One is called SPF. There's another thing called DKIM. There's a lot of different uh, ways that you can set up these, these tools to validate and verify that you're not spam and you really are the owner of a specific domain. Now, the problem with SPF, DKIM, and all these other tools, they're kind of complicated to set up. And for most people, if you just want to set up a WordPress website, you don't care. You just want your email to go through. You just want it to work. So luckily for us, there's a service that we can leverage. It's 100% free. Everything that you need to do is in the free tier. You can pay for more, but everything that we need to do is free. Um, and we're gonna use that service so that we don't have to bother setting all those different things up. So I promise you this is not sponsored. I'm not getting paid to say this. Um, the service that I use is called SendGrid. It's, a, it's an email relay tool that takes care of all that stuff for you so you don't have to worry about it. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to sendgrid.com. You're gonna sign up for an account. And once you have an account, you're gonna come down here to where it says API keys on the left side under settings. If you click on that, you'll have this section and you're going to create an API key. Now an API key, if you're not familiar, it's, it's sort of like a username and password. All we need is a username and password that we can use to verify and validate to make sure that we can actually send our emails. So once you create your API key, you're going to want to copy the key and, and keep that in your clipboard because we're gonna use it in just a second. Once you have your API key copied, and again, this is a password, so make sure that nobody sees it or steals it or uses it. We're gonna come back here to our, uh, our website. We're gonna go back to our dashboard. And we're gonna go to plugins and we're going to add new. And over here under plugins, we're gonna type in SMTP and hit enter. And the first one that we're going to use is called WP Mail by WP Forms. We'll just say install now. And then we're gonna say activate. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna come here to the settings. Now, first thing, when you come here to the settings, if you scroll down under the mailer, you'll see all these different options. So we're gonna say send grid because that's the one that we're using. And then down here, it's gonna say API key. So we're gonna go ahead and paste in the API key that we copied earlier from the other page. And that should be it. Once we have that saved, we've now configured WordPress to send our email through SendGrid and they're gonna send the email for us. So if we come back to our pages, all pages, and then click on view for our contact form, theoretically, if we did everything right, this should now get sent to my inbox without going directly to spam. Okay, so I'm just gonna put in Bryce test and we'll say, um, test at test. Remember, this is not the email that it's going to, this is my email address. We'll say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and we'll say this is a test. Hopefully it doesn't go to spam. And we'll say send. Okay, now again, if everything's right, we should have a new email in my inbox rather than spam. Okay, so if we look at that, the very first one is, uh, is the test email that we sent. So rather than going directly to my spam folder, it went straight to my, my inbox because again, SendGrid takes care of all of those different complicated email authentication pieces that we just don't wanna deal with. We just wanna send the email. So if you're having issues with emails, either going to spam or not getting sent at all, be sure to install that SMTP plugin, add your API key from SendGrid, and they'll take care of it for you. Now I will throw out there just a caveat that with the free version of SendGrid, you can only send 100 emails per day before you have to start paying. For most of the websites that I do, 100 emails per day is plenty. So most people probably won't reach that limit. 
Um, obviously, if you do, then you can start paying for their, you know, their paid tier, but you, you should be just fine with the free version. So that's it for this video, guys. Hopefully you found it valuable. If you did, give me a like, put a comment down below, and we'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Thank you.